Another way you can figure out the type of bond between two atoms is to look at how electronegative those atoms are. So electronegativity is the ability of an atom to pull electrons off of another atom. So if you have two atoms that are pretty similar, like two nonmetals in their strength of electronegativity, uh, then they're not going to be able to pull electrons off of another nonmetal. Instead, they will share. So this is a chart of electronegativities of different atoms, and I'm going to show you how you can take any two atoms on this chart and just by kind of a rule of thumb, look at the difference in their electronegativities and tell whether the bond is likely to be ionic or likely to be covalent. So if I take two atoms, like let's take hydrogen and oxygen. And hydrogen is, is right here, 2.1, and oxygen is right there, 3.5, are their electronegativities. And I'm going to calculate the difference in those two numbers. So um, if I subtract, the difference ends up to be 1.4. So if your electronegativity difference falls into certain kind of categories, you can kind of identify what type of compound you have. So let's look at the options. So if the difference in your electronegativities is 0 to 0.3, then you have a covalent bond. And not only do you have a covalent bond, you have a very special covalent bond because um, those atoms are going to share those electrons very equally. And this we see a lot with diatomic elements because they're identical strength. And so they have to equally share the electrons. And those are called nonpolar covalent bonds. If your electronegativity difference falls between 0.3 and 1.7, which is what we have in our example, then you've got a bond that's called polar covalent, which means that the hydrogen and the oxygen do share their valence electrons, um, a pair of valence electrons, but um, not equally. One of the atom kind of pulls the, those electrons closer. So the, in this case, the oxygen is stronger. So the electrons that are being shared um, are going to be pulled a little bit more towards the oxygen. That, that changes the shape of the molecule a little bit because the electron cloud kind of shifts. Those are called polar covalent bonds. The electrons are being shared, but kind of unequally. If the difference is really high, and this really only happens with metals and nonmetals, then the electrons will completely get pulled off of the metal and onto the nonmetal. The nonmetals are always much stronger in their electronegativity. And, and that's a case where um, we have an electron transfer that forms two ions. Um, the metal that loses the electrons will be our cation, positive ion, and the, the nonmetal that gains those electrons will be our negative ion, which is our anion. And the electronegativity difference between them has to be somewhere between 1.7 and 4.0 for, for that to happen. So electronegativity difference is another way that you can identify um, if something is ionic or covalent, and you can even tell how covalent it is. So thanks for joining me. This is the difference in electronegativities.